Hello everyone, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're attempting to answer that dreaded question for all who tell mains, whether you should be summoning for C1 or the Staff of Homa. As everyone already knows, Primos are an extremely rare resource, and therefore you have to decide carefully on where you're going to spend them. Thus today we're going to be taking a step-by-step -step look at both Hu Tao C1 and the Staff of Homa, so that you can make the best decision for your account without breaking the bank. While of course what is best for each player is going to be wildly different from account to account, I do think that there is a definitive best choice but we'll get into that towards the end of the video. If you do end up finding this video helpful at all, please feel free to leave me a like and comment down below, it really does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more Genshin Impact content from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Also, fun fact, this is actually my 100th Genshin Impact video being uploaded to YouTube, so that's pretty crazy. It's been about a year since I started this channel, and we're actually getting pretty close to 15,000 subscribers, so I just wanted to quickly say thank you guys. I really do appreciate all the likes, shares, comments, engagement that you guys have been giving my videos, so I just wanted to quickly say thank you. Alright, but with all that sappy stuff out of the way, let's move on to the video. So Hu Tao's rerun banner is right around the corner, or perhaps when you're watching this, she's already out. And now that you've already secured one copy of her, you're trying to decide whether or not you want to go for her Constellation 1, or the Staff of Homa. So let's go ahead and break things down step by step so that we can make a decision. Let's go ahead and start with Hu Tao C1 since it is a little bit more complicated. For those that don't already know, besides her burst, Hu Tao gets the majority of her damage from her charge attacks. In fact, her charge attacks do so much damage that you almost don't want to be doing any normal attacks because you will be losing out on potential damage. However, the big issue with this is that her charge attacks do take up a significant amount of stamina every time you use one. This means if you do charge attack spam, then you are going to lose out on all of your stamina. And not only does this mean that you won't be able to take full advantage of your skill duration, but it also means that you won't be able to dash to get closer to enemies or to dodge enemies' attacks. And because you want to be playing Hu Tao at a low HP at all times, this could lead to disaster real quick. And of course MiHoYo knows this and knew that this was an issue with her kit, and therefore they decided to lock something behind her C1. Hu Tao's Constellation 1 essentially makes it so that every time she uses her skill, her charge attacks do not consume any stamina. So given what I just said about Hu Tao's charge attacks being one of her main sources of damage, you can see why this constellation is so coveted. Does this mean that her constellation 1 is an absolute necessity? No, but it does make things a lot easier. However, a lot of players have found a way around this by using animation cancels, Essentially, by jump cancelling right at the right time, you can get around a lot of her stamina consumption problems. Yes, you will still use a little bit of your stamina here and there, but overall you will be able to get a lot more damage out if you were not animation cancelling. However, I think it's really important to realize that not everyone is good at animation cancelling, and some might find it very difficult. And if you're a mobile player, animation cancelling is actually an absolute nightmare. One thing that I do want to harp on real quick is that content creators really don't show any of the times that they do mess up their animation cancels. Yes, obviously, you you can train yourself to be very very good at it, but I'm just saying for the casual player, just expect to mess up every once in a while, especially during the heat of battle. I want to be very clear that I'm not saying that animation cancelling is impossible, you can teach yourself how to do it even on mobile, but it is far more difficult and can lead to having less fun. This is why I personally like her Constellation 1 because I think that it makes her gameplay a lot more fluid and a lot more enjoyable. And personally, I actually think that it is worth the hype because it does allow you to dash cancel, which is far easier than jump cancelling, meaning you'll have a much easier your time sending enemies to their respective graves. However, if you are on a budget and are willing to learn how to animation cancel, I just wanted to let you know that you do have that option if you do not want to shell out the primos in order to get her first constellation. Okay, and now that we've talked about her constellation 1, let's move on to the Staff of Homa. Or should I still call it the Staff of Homeless? For those that are new to Genshin Impact, this weapon is infamous. While the weapon banner has always been seen as a scam, it was even more of a scam before recently. Before they made changes to the epitome invocation where you can actually pick which weapon you want to chart for, there used to be absolutely no way to guarantee the weapon that you wanted off the weapon banner. This means that you could summon tens to hundreds of times on the weapon banner and still not get the rate up weapon that you were going for. In fact, when the Staff of Homa was first released, Tectone, a really big Genshin Impact YouTuber, actually spent over $2,000 in order to to get a single copy of the Staff of Homa. Luckily, there have been some pretty big changes made to the weapon banner where you only have to hit Pity three times in order to get the guaranteed weapon. However, that being said, hitting Pity three times is still a lot of wishes. So please keep that in mind before you decide to summon on the weapon banner at all. But if you are thinking about getting the Staff of Homa, 
Ooh boy, this is one of the best weapons in the entire game. At R1 level 90, it has a base attack of 608 and a crit damage substat of 66.2%. On top of this, its passive increases your HP by 20% and additionally provides an attack bonus based off of 0.8% of the wielder's max HP. And on top of this, when the wielder's HP is less than 15%, this attack bonus is increased by an additional 1% of the max HP. And considering that Hu Tao is completely crit oriented, HP oriented, and loves to be below 50%, you can see why this weapon is tailor made for her. In fact, if we are looking at all weapons at R1, no weapon comes even close to this weapon for Hu Tao. And because all these stats have perfect synergy with Hu Tao, it actually makes artifact hunting far easier because you can be a lot more lenient with your substats. However, that being said, it doesn't mean that you don't have other options, especially in terms of 4 stars. If you do have multiple refinements on weapons such as the Black Cliff Pole, the Deathmatch, or the Dragon's Bane, then these are actually pretty competitive with an R1 Staff of Homa. So again, like Constellation 1, do you need the Staff of Homa? No. But is it very good? Absolutely. But this leads us to the question that we've been trying to answer since the very beginning of the video. Which one should you choose if you can only get one? While in all honesty, I don't think that you can make a wrong choice between these two since they are both so good on Hu Tao, I do think that there is a better option. If I personally had to make the choice between the Staff of Homa or C1 for Hu Tao, I personally would pick the Staff of Homa. I know that I just warned about the weapon banner because I felt obligated to, but the Staff of Homa is honestly worth it. And the reason why I would pick it over the Constellation 1 for Hu Tao is because her Constellation only affects her, but the Staff of Homa can improve your entire account. While the Staff of Homa is tailor-made for Hu Tao, it's also Zhongli's best in slot, Zhao's best in slot, is phenomenal on Raiden Shogun, it's most likely also going to be Toma's best in slot when he releases, and is very good on characters like Rosaria and Shang Ling. And one thing that you'll notice by me saying that is that I've mentioned every single polearm character in the entire game as of 2.2. This weapon is just extremely well-rounded and works on just about any character you slap it on. And in my opinion, that makes it far more valuable than a single constellation on a single character. So while the weapon banner is technically a gamble, I do think that this is a weapon banner that is actually worth it. Because not only is this particular weapon good on one character, but every character that you could possibly put it on. I think it's also really important to look at what the other raid up weapon will be alongside the Staff of Homa, so that if you don't end up getting the Staff of Homa, you'll still be happy either way. However, if you're a dedicated Hu Tao main and you don't plan on summoning for Zhongli, Zhao, Raiden, or any other character in the future that uses a pole arm, then you can go ahead and skip this and just go for C1. Especially if you do have problems with animation cancelling or are playing on mobile, then this might be the better choice for you. And if you are skipping the Staff of Homa and still need a 4 star option, feel free to check out my weapon guide on Hu Tao that I made a little while ago. Unfortunately, it does not have the Inazuma weapons from the recent patches, however, the top 3 weapons in that video are still Hu Tao's best 4 star options by a long shot. But for now, that's my two cents, I hope that it helps you make a decision on whether you're going to go for C1 or the Staff of Homa. And if you did end up enjoying the video, please feel free to leave me a like and comment down below with what you're choosing to summon for. Also, if you want to see more Genshin Impact content from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, I'd love to have you along for the ride. Alright guys, until next time, best wishes, bye!